Welcome back to Is That a Fact? The show where we separate fact from fiction to help you look smart at dinner parties. I'm your humble host, and this week we're talking about influenza. Or, you know, just the flu if you don't have a fancy sound effects budget. So what is the flu? How do you get it? How do you prevent it? And how do you pick out an outfit for flu season? So many questions. Let's get into it. First, we start by talking about what the flu is not. LV Girl 818 writes, OMG, 10 straight hours, stomach blah, sweaty, so much vomit emoji, vomit emoji, vomit emoji, hashtag is this the flu? Maybe a little uh, oversharing there, LV Girl 818, but great question. This is most likely what is sometimes called the stomach flu, or gastroenteritis. <laughs> this can get mistaken for influenza, but they are very different. Gastroenteritis affects the intestines, while the seasonal flu affects the nose, lungs, and throat. Okay, we have another question. Why do I have to get a flu vaccine every year? Come on, hashtag science. Can't you just make one that lasts? Ooh. Yeah, science. And how about making a phone charger that works for more than three weeks? And what about mind-reading helmets, hmm? I want to know what my dog is thinking. <laughs> what did that squirrel ever do to you? <laughs> Look, vaccines aren't the problem. The changing viruses that circulate are. We need to get a new version of the flu vaccine every year because the viruses are always changing. New strains can pop up each year, which require updated versions of the vaccine because the previous version no longer works as well. Like the time I tried to pull off jaggings a few seasons too late. <laughs> hmm. This brings up another good point, because while the flu vaccine is recommended, some may be less than enthusiastic about getting a shot. Hmm. So, is there an option that is not a shot? And if so, who can get it? Doctor, little Johnny here needs a flu vaccine, but doesn't like needles. What can we do? Well, one needle-free option is Flumist. It's a nasal spray that works for kids and adults, ages 2 to 49. Oh, good. I did not want to start crying today. <laughs> is there a bathroom in here? Oh, Johnny, what will you do next, you little rascal? So, now that we've heard about flu mist, you might be wondering, what is it? And how does it work? And to answer those questions, we'll bring in a doctor. Or an actor portrayal of a doctor. Flu mist quadrivalent is a live attenuated influenza vaccine approved for use in people 2 to 49 years of age. Flu mist helps build antibodies against flu infection, in three ways. In the nasal passage, where flu typically enters the body, in the bloodstream to help circulate antibodies throughout the body, and in cells to help build up resistance to infection. So that's how flu mist works, but how is it at preventing the flu? Flu mist provides protection without the injection and is backed by years of data. It has shown comparable effectiveness to other types of vaccines, such as an inactivated influenza vaccine, or a flu shot, as it's more commonly known. And flu mist is an option recommended by the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. The most common side effects are runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, and a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, there it is. <laughs> so, if the nasal spray and the shot are both approved flu vaccines, why not get flu mist and save yourself the jab? I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Spoken like a true actor portrayal of a doctor. <laughs> well, that's our show. Today we laughed a little, we learned a little, and we cried a little. Aww. Nope, we don't need to see that again. That's better. We'll be back next time for more Is That a Fact? Good night, everybody. Get a head start on flu season this year. Ask a healthcare professional about flu mist today. Flumist quadrivalent should not be given to patients who are severely allergic to any vaccine component or eggs, or who have had a severe reaction to a previous dose of any flu vaccine, or if they are a child or adolescent taking aspirin therapy. 
Flumist quadrivalent may not be right for patients who are wheezing, have a history of wheezing if under five years old, or have had Guillain-Barre syndrome. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, heart, kidney, or lung problems, diabetes, and about all medicines you take. Please see full prescribing information, including patient information, at flumist.com.